Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Esther here. Thank you so much to those who stay tuned with me. In today's video, I want to be talking about the topic of what's the rush. At times, because our generation is so fast paced and this video is particularly dedicated to the millennials, I know how it feels to want everything in order, in your time, at your pace. But I want to really encourage you that there's nothing to rush in this life. With the world at hand, think about what you want to contribute to make life better. When you're rushing for things, you're rushing for accolades, you're rushing for the approval, you're rushing for followers, when you get those things, what next? So many people are so confused because they don't know what they've been called to do or they haven't identified their purpose or they're in a job that they do not like or they're stuck in their business. These things are bound to happen, but despite them happening, where is your focus? If you listen to my previous video, you will know how much I emphasised on focus picking faith over fear. When you are focused, you are able to make concrete decisions. So many people right now are feeling so nervous. They are feeling so choked up. They are feeling like they do not have anything to give because of their age or because they haven't shown the world that they've done something. I remember a dear friend said to me earlier this year in January that anything I do, I don't need to post it up on social media. There are so many things that don't need to be said, especially when you are in the building stages. This book, I've been reading it in my spare time and I tell you, T.D. Jakes Crushing encourages you to learn in your pain and learn to grow in the process of being a better version of yourself. Highly recommended book for those who are off the edge. This book will encourage you, it will motivate you, it will enable you to be better than you was yesterday. Don't allow your pain to make you rush. I'm going to read the back of the book just for you to get an insight into what it's about. And it says, in this insightful book, New York Times bestseller, T.D. Jakes wrestles with old age questions. Do we have to suffer so much loss in this life in order to mature in our faith? Why would a good father allow his children to suffer so much pain, injustice and heartache? In his most personal offering yet, Bishop Jakes emphasises the value of asking these difficult questions and tells crushing stories from his own journey. Very transparent he was in this book. The painful experience of learning his young teenage daughter was pregnant, the agony of watching his mother succumb to Alzheimer's and the shock and helplessness he felt when his son had a heart attack. But he soon learned that God was using those challenging experiences to prepare him for unexpected blessings. As the master vintner, God knows your crops of fruit are merely part of an ongoing, greater process to fulfil the destiny he has in store for you. You will be surprised by God's joy, comfort by his peace and filled with his purpose. Crushing will inspire you to have hope, even in your most difficult moments. If you trust God and lean on him during setbacks, he will lead you through. This book has been a big encouragement for me in this season and I've been so challenged to look at my life and where I am right now. I remember all the plans I've made from January to December. Some of them have happened, some of them haven't happened, some of them have not happened at all. But I've come to realise that putting a deadline on when God should meet our needs is not healthy. And this is why it's so important to take your time in life and not rush the process. The beauty is in the learning. It's not necessarily about you achieving a certain goal quickly. We are living in a microwave-based generation. We want gaucho food, but we're eating McDonald's food. If you know you want a well-cooked, seasoned blessing, you need to take your time and learn from your current situation. You can't go from A to C without finishing B. There is no reason why any human being should tell you to do something that you are not ready for. When your relationship with God is strong, you are able to know where you are, where you desire to go, but you are also able to submit because you know that your life is not yours. 2020 has been a year of blessings, but it's also been a year where I have to pause and put myself on hold and say, Esther, wait, hold on. I know you wanted to achieve this project, but are you still learning from the process? Because if you forfeit your present, you won't be able to handle what's ahead of you. Most of the reasons why we rush is peer pressure, family pressure, society, the way we feel, our own minds. There's power in a forward thinking mindset. 
When your mindset is positive and you're not focused about what you don't have and what you haven't achieved, that is where true freedom begins. Your freedom is in your hands. Just because other people are doing better or they're excelling and they're achieving in their own lane, remember they had to go through the process of waiting. And if you don't go through the process of waiting, you will not appreciate the blessing when it comes. When we look at other people and think that we're behind, you're defeating your own progress. 2020 has taught me to slow down. I'm sure there are certain areas in your life where you can take two steps back and ask yourself, was it really worth me rushing in the first place? When the word says in Ecclesiastes 3.11 that there's a time and a season for everything, it's true. You need to take your time to find out what season you're in. This is not a season for you to rush the process or forfeit. Where are you in this season? You may think you're ready to buy a house. You may think you're ready to run a business. But ask yourself, how are you handling your mental state? As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. The way God has worked in my life is when I don't focus on what I need. If you worry about where you are, all your mind will focus on is worry. It will keep throwing worry to you because you haven't allowed yourself to release the pain that you're thinking about mentally. Do you know how important it is to take your time? Even in your thinking, your thoughts, your lifestyle, the way you live, the way you speak, the way you act, they all contribute to an effective life. A lot of the times, if we are not careful, and I'm going to refer back to having a relationship with the Lord because it is highly important in this decade. You should never rush greatness. And remember, I will always say this, immediate success leads to failure. Quickly, I need to make sure that my mindset is positioned in hearing God's voice clearly and authentically. When you take your life easy, you will learn how to grow gradually because the beauty of life is in the process. It's not just in arriving in the destination. Yes, the destination is great, but what next? Every day, life is teaching you something. How can you think that you are going to be successful without going through the process? What is the process? Rejection, private pain, invisible trouble, isolation. All these things come with greatness. Everyone that has been great in their lives has had to go through an element of pain or several encounters of trials and tribulations. Now, I don't know what your trial and tribulation is. The trials and tribulations that I've gone through have made me the Esther I am today. If you know you want to enjoy the journey, you need to apply Matthew 6.33 into your life every day. And this is to seek the kingdom of God first and his righteousness and all other things will be added onto you. You may be in a situation where you want to ask for advice and you ask four people and you don't even know which one to take. And then you remember that God was there asking you, have you come to me yet? Have you even consulted the one that will give you the strength for you to do that project? Have you consulted the one that will grant you the wisdom in order to make wealth? Have you sought the one that knows your life more than anyone else does? Or have you rushed because your impatience led you to move into a season that you're not ready for? Don't allow 2020 to make you rush. Coronavirus has taught everybody something. And I believe it's about taking life one step at a time. If you don't invest in who you are, no one will want to invest in you. A broken person is desiring to see someone that can lift them up, that can help them. And if you forfeit the process just because it's too long, then you're not ready to receive the end result of the blessing. As I said before, the book Crushing by T.D. Jakes will humble you. You can't leave God out of the equation. At some point, you're going to remember, just like the prodigal son in Luke 15, when he said, I have sinned. I need to go back to my father. Daddy, I am sorry for rushing. I thought that outside in the world looked good, but I've realized that everything I have is in you. Reveal to me what you want me to do and grant me peace of mind. It's the peace that God will give you that is greater than the rushing of the world. Don't rush. The best is yet to come for those who wait. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.